Another really great new feature for the video sequence editor are text effect strips. Let me add one by effect strip text. And you already see the text has popped up here and it's, the effect strip is already set to alpha over so we don't need to worry about this. And below here in effect strip we have the options. For example, we can change the text and of course also the size. Really important is this, we can give it a drop shadow and we could also change the location in X and Y. And there's this option wrap width and that's meant to be used when the text becomes too long to fit into the frame. For example, if we change this to Blender 2.76 overview of new features, then overall it's too big. It's not fitting into the frame anymore. And then we can uh, turn on the wrap width and let's say it's 90% of our frame. So if it becomes too big, too big, then it will wrap. So 0 0.95, oh, it's still wrapping, but that's totally fine. And um, the next thing I'd like to show you is align X and align Y. For this, I will change the location X to zero and Y as well. And then you already see align X is set to center. We can also change it to left. This will mean that the X border here, the zero, which is set here, is now to the left of the text. Or if we set it to right, you won't see it because now the border is to the right of the text. But for example, we can change the location and everything is fine again. And you see that this way you could also, for example, animate a scrolling text. And this one here has the soft limit at one, but you can even go beyond. So totally none of a problem. And of course it works anal analogies for Y. So let me set this to left again. Here for the align Y, it's at the bottom. That means that the border down here below is at the bottom of the text, but we could also set it to center or to top, which then means that we can have a nice scrolling for the Y. But you might notice that we can only have one line per text effect strip. So you can, should either use the wrapping, but for example, if you want to create scrolling credits, then you would need several of the strips which you need, you, which you need would need to stack here, but it's still possible. And you might wonder why are the text effect strips so limited? And well, the reason is they are mainly to be used for subtitling. And because they have, are to be used for subtitling, we of course could also export the subtitles. And let me just do this here, export subtitles. Then you see we are creating a SRT file. And now if I open a text editor, then you should see that, um, where is it? Yeah, we see text.srt that we have an SRT file and it's complete inclusive with including the timing. So pretty cool. So now you can officially use Blender as a subtitling tool.